Hello, professors. So you've got 47 research papers in your inbox right now, and you have less than enough time to read each paper, let alone checking the citations within each one. Are they effectively using the cited material to support their argument? Are the students citing high quality studies? Are they following proper citation standards? Is your head starting to hurt? Well, the good news is we can check those papers blindingly fast with some help from AI. In this video, we'll be sharing prompts, purpose built bots, and some strategies to effectively review a research paper's citations without doing all the legwork or mostly I work yourself. This video has three main parts. Feel free to skip around. We'll review the citations, the quality of the cited materials, and the use of those citations itself. Now drop a like, subscribe, and let's jump right in. First, let me grab this sample research paper about social problems that I found on the internet. I'll be using it to demonstrate. Now we go to Boodlebox and open a new chat by pressing this plus sign or control plus B. Let's attach the sample research paper to the chat itself by going to the knowledge bank right here in the top right corner. Then upload the paper and finally attach it to the chat. You can do it straight from the knowledge bank or by clicking on this paperclip icon next to the chat window. And now that we have the paper attached to the chat, let's mention the Rollbot Citation Manager. It's a purpose-built citations bot that has extensive knowledge on formatting citations and bibliographies in APA, MLA, Chicago, Harvard, and thousands of other citation styles. First, we'll ask it. Check the citation of the attached paper and see if they are formatted correctly according to APA, MLA or other style. Okay, okay. Uh, we can see that the bot has only analyzed the citations in the paper's main body. Sometimes the bots have trouble seeing the entirety of the attached file, or at least they think that they're having trouble. Let's tell the bot to check the last page that has the bibliography on it. Review knowledge. Adding the phrase review knowledge when the bot has trouble finding something in the knowledge bank usually does the trick. Mm -hmm. Okay, the good thing, now the bot has no trouble seeing the bibliography. It immediately identifies that the paper is using APA, the American Psychology Association style of citation, and it gives us a review. I was actually going to tell the bot to do that, but I guess it's already one step ahead of me. Okay, let's see. Michelle L., Bernstein J., and Schmidt J. 2000, State of Working America, correctly formatted for APA style. A couple of other citations. All looks good. Brezina T. 2008. What went wrong in New Orleans? Is mostly correct, but the journal title Social Forces should be italicized. Bureau of Justice Statistics. 2006. Prison and jail inmates at mid-year 2005. Needs some adjustments. Use retrieved from instead of available at. And add a period after the title. Okay, we won't go through every article, but the bot is eager to help remedy even the smallest of citation transgressions. And it's offering to give even more detailed instructions. Okay, let's see what it's got. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, now the bot is repeating some of its previous corrections, but it's also giving us some general rules to remember, and it explains everything in greater detail. Pause the video here if you want to go through all of those. Now, let's ask the bot to please check how up to date are the cited materials. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, great breakdown of the articles based on the year of publication. The most recent source cited is from 2009. Several sources are from 2006 to 2008 and the early 2000s. A few sources are from the 1990s and the oldest sources are from the mid 20th century. Overall, the majority of the sources are from the 2000s, with the most recent being from 2009. Given that the current year when the paper was written was 2023, these sources are between 14 and 23 years old. The older sources from the 1990s and earlier are likely used for historic context or foundational theories. And the bot is offering to help find more relevant sources too. Cool. Let's not get into that right now, though. It's a rabbit hole in and of itself. But if you want to learn more about searching for papers with our bots, you can check out our research gap video in the description. Now let's ask the bots if the cited materials are studies, are they peer-reviewed? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Okay. As you can see, without examining the sources individually, Citation Manager can only tell us general guidelines on different types of sources, academic journals, books, government reports, and so on. You can pause the video if you want to read up on all that. Finally, what we want to do is upload one of the papers cited in the social problems research paper to the chat and ask the bot whether the citation was done correctly. Upload to the knowledge bank, same as before, and ask the bot to review knowledge again. You can also write the name of the file in the prompt to help AI not get confused. If you use vague terms like the last paper I attached, it can get stumped and decide that it doesn't see anything. Do you see the Municipal Solid Waste 2009 article I've attached to the chat? Okay, the bot immediately breaks down the article and talks about its relation to our original paper. Ahead of me again, Citation Manager, aren't you? Now the only thing left to ask is, do you think this new article supports or refutes the arguments made in the original article I gave you? And its opinion is that the AP APA report generally supports the arguments made in the original paper. And there are a lot more details in the text on what else can be done and what interesting arguments there are to be made. Again, I don't think we should be spending too much time getting into the details because I just want to show you the capabilities of Boodlebox. If you want to completely, utterly exhaust all of the potential avenues of citing this paper, you can ask the bot, are there any points in the municipal solid waste article that are missing? in the social problems research paper citation of it. And it just unleashes every avenue of thought possible. Pause and read if you want, but I think the point is already pretty clear and the video is really long enough. So yeah, we ended up going pretty deep into the potential citation breakdown possible, but you don't have to go that deep. If your goal is to just check the quality of the citations of your students. It could be, on the other hand, a great idea to teach your students all of these techniques so they can spend a lot more energy on creative and deep research instead of working on formatting bibliographies. But that's maybe a topic for an entirely separate video. That's it. Drop a like, subscribe, and if you want to see more videos about the role of AI in higher education, check out this playlist right here. See you in the next one.